I got that's two CMAs and like I don't even know how many calls we did. Ten I calls. Mean, yeah, you're killing it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm seven. Think about this. I'm seventy thousand calls in, bro. Yeah, that's true. Seventy thousand. I've only been in, I've only been a real estate agent for a year and a half, and I'm seventy thousand in. So you was dialing for like five, six hours a day, bro, huh? In the dungeon. In the dungeon. This is groundbreaking, like life-changing stuff when you listen to this guy talk. I'm serious. I appreciate you giving me some of your time, man. And uh yeah, schooling me up a little bit. Sure, man. How long you been in the business? I just started, so uh about two months and uh two days. Okay. Three days. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You at the very beginning stages of it all. So how's everything been going for you? You know, it's all right. I mean, I got, I'm kind of figuring it out on my own just by, uh, I found you and I found, well, I found Ricky, then I found you. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of figuring it out. I closed one deal, but it was just from like an old lead from somebody mm -hmm. else, just a dead lead. Mm -hmm. But it was just a buyer lead, no, no listings or nothing like that, you know? Okay. I mean, contract's a contract, but. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You uh, you from Cal? Are you from California? You sound like you from Baltimore. What you called it, bro? You <laughs> yeah, I know that you I called know, it. Certain there's certain ways y'all enunciate words that I know very well. I got a couple homeboys from B more, so I mean, there's no denying it when I hear it. I know I know <laughs> more guy when I hear one for sure. Yeah, yep, that's where I'm from. One hundred, bro. One hundred. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You caught me off guard with that. <laughs> sure, man, sure. Well, um, well, yeah. So you you've been doing how long? You've been calling and whatnot. Well, I was just say about a about a week, but not much, man. Okay. Uh, okay. I just watched your video on how you go. Not not the only reason on how you go so long, but you kind of you kind of be playing games a little bit where you're going. I'm like, man, that would help. But yeah. when you starting off, it's just like building a callus, and I'm like, yeah. it's hard. For it's, it's hard for me. Yeah, that's what I used to do. I used to, I call my office the dungeon, right? Because I I have a little you know curtain. I make it dark in here, and I used to just call for hours, man. And like I said, are you using Red X? I'm actually on Mojo. Mojo. So I don't. I'm not very familiar with Mojo, but I know on Red X you have an option to be able to record your calls. So like when I'm doing my breakdowns, I'm basically playing the recorded calls that I have, right? And then I'm able to, you know, kind of break them down. But that's what I used to do with myself when I first started calling. So I would gotcha. do a call session, record the ones that I got to talk to. You know, if you, you can make about, you know, four, 300, 400 calls and really only talk to like 10 people. So I'd have 10 recordings. And off of those recordings, that's where I would break myself down. Or stuff that somebody gave me some type of, you know, comeback or rejection or objection that I needed to handle, I would be able to then, you know, kind of, write down some rebuttals, write down some, write down some comebacks and give me a few to each one and then practice them. And then on the next go round, I would, you know, try this out, try that out. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, this one worked a little bit. I like that. I like this one. This one worked. And then I would kind of add that into my repertoire. And then after you do that over and over again, it starts to become second nature to where you know how to basically lead the call. And like I said, a lot of my calls are not just very long, right? But I'm able to make a good first impression and, you know, collect that email. And as I'm looking at my, I was kind of just looking at the numbers in my, my database. I sent my last email last week and, you know, 23% open rate, right? There's people, they're opening up the email and they see it and they've been doing it for, a, you know, a long time, right? I got people that's received 70 emails from me over the time that I've been doing this and they've opened, opened up 50 of them, right? So that right there is building the fact that I have consistency. Secondly, they, they're seeing me and they may not be ready to do anything, but I know that at some point in time, I'm going to start getting them calls, right? And so yeah. it's just about being consistent. But I think the main thing is just to get the skill. And this is second nature. Calling is second nature to me now, right? Now, I've been doing a lot. I got a lot of stuff that I do as well. But whenever I get back on the phone now, it's not something I have to think about. 
It's just I'm on the phone. All right. I go into my spiel. It's like riding, riding a bike. Whereas for you now, it's still kind of new and you kind of still feel jit. I don't even feel jitters anymore, honestly. Yeah. Right? You know, I'm past that point because I've made, you know, almost 70,000 calls in a year and a half. You know what I'm saying? So the one thing I like to tell people is just don't try to don't run away from it. You got to you got to you got to conquer this head on. You just you just make the call. Right? It's just what it is. Yeah. No, nah, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right, man. Well, if you want me to get started, man. Yeah. Dial it up. Let's get to rolling. All right. So this is just, let me get my, had a, so since I haven't sold anything yet, I'm just going off of a, I just call people and just tell them, you know, it's a house that just sold in your neighborhood. You know, this one sold on the 15th. Okay. So about a week ago. Um. And it was sold for or so uh five thirty-eight. Okay. So how many beds and baths? Uh so four two. Okay. Almost a half acre. Okay. For sure. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm trying to get to that point where I ain't got the jitters no more for real. It takes it's gonna take that's gonna take a while, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I just probably in the last three or four months is when I consciously noticed that I didn't have the jitters anymore, right? But that's gonna take you are now locked into even after I got good at it, I still would have started. Yeah, nope, yep. Yeah. You had to go through it to get there, so go through it. I I recognize it. Here we go. Let me know. Can you hear my uh, phone? Yeah, I can hear it. Go ahead. All right. Oh, it's been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five. Th it's ringing. It's just not. It's not making that sort of sound. Okay. We are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number. <laughs> you be like doing the faces too. So like you be acting it out. So I'm like trying to do it. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I can already tell I look crazy on camera, man. Oh, good, bro. Hey, that, that, that's a part of it. Because like <laughs> the first time I was with Ricky, that's what I, you know, my face is like, okay, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's a part he of it. He was killing it, man. I was like, dang, I got to do that because you're killing that thing. It's a part of it. It's just like how they teach you, you know, smile. An automatic voice message for smile while you're on the phone. Yeah, you know, you can come. It comes through. Well, if you if you're doing everything as far as okay, I'm I'm curious. Huh? huh really? It, yeah, it all comes through. So that's good. Yeah, I try to smile for sure, but yeah, sometimes I'm like calling or whatever, and then after a while, I'm like, man, I gotta like back off. I'm like, I sound like a telemarketer. I don't want to sound like that. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Man. Come on. Hello? Hello? Hey, Mr. Kevin. Hello? Hey, Mr. Hello. Kevin. Hello. How you doing? This is Devin. I'm a local realtor. Am I catching you at a bad time? Uh, nope. You got about two minutes before I pull in my door. Oh yeah, it's gonna be quick. Well, I'm just I'm just calling just because it was a house that sold in your neighborhood, and I was just you know reaching out to a few neighbors, just seeing if there was anything I could do for them. Uh, nope. We're hanging back. We got a realtor already. We're shopping for a house right now, and then he's gonna sell ours. Oh, nice! Congratulations. All right. Well, that sounds good. Well, you take it easy, Mr. Kevin. Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye. Yep. That's good. That was good. Okay. That was good. I was like, should I push? Because, no, but he no. just, he literally in the process. So I was like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got, you kind of got to feel that out, right? When he, because at first he was like, okay, I got a real talk. Hello? Yeah. Uh, Miss Ricky? 
Uh, who are you looking for? Uh, well, I'm looking for the uh, owner of 7039 Tucker Lane. Does that ring a bell? Uh, you got the wrong number. I got the wrong number? Okay. Wrong number. Well, while I got you real quick. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I was just, I'm just a local okay. realtor. I'm just a local realtor out here in Shasta County. I was just looking to see if I can help anybody out. Uh, would you have this any real estate needs? Oh, my bad. This is a oh, okay, my bad. I'll let you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I did. So right there, like, okay, well, hey, shoot, if you ever think about buying or selling in the future, do you have an agent that you work with? The way she was talking, she was probably going to say no, but then that's a, that's a part of knowing how to transition because some, uh, I, I mean, 50% of the time, I'll get those too, right? With the businesses and stuff? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is a business? Oh, wow. Okay. I guess that's, that's crazy. I got you on the line. Well, hey, if you ever think about buying or selling in the future, you know, do you have an agent, right? Do you hear the emphasis on do you have an agent, right? Mm, yeah. I emphasize that because if you don't, if you just say, do you have an agent? They'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Hello? Hi, this is Don and Betty. I'll get you to the phone right now. Be sure to leave your... Yeah. No, you're right. I was... Yeah, you're right. That's good. Do you so one, do of the, one of the things is your mindset has to be, I need to try everybody because you don't know who's going to give it to you. I promise you. Mm, right. Okay. So don't think, okay, they sound like they want to get out the phone. Yeah, they do. But... Try it, because I have some that'll be rushing like that. I'm like, okay, well, hey, love to stay in touch with you. It'll be all right if we got to stay in touch. Yeah, okay, what's a good email? And then they'll be they'll they'll fly through the email and give it to me, and then okay, bye. Please leave your name and phone. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because sometimes yeah, I cut myself short when it comes to those businesses and stuff. Yeah, you can try it though. I, I promise you. I probably let's say I've done a hundred of them. I probably gotten thirty. Man, <laughs> not a bad. That's not a bad rate, right? No. Nah. Random, I'm calling a homeowner and I got a business and I'm talking to somebody that's working there and, you know, we had a good convo real quick and they gave it to me anyway, so. That ain't bad at all. Man. Ain't nobody, well, I, I'm like, ain't nobody picking up, but I had like three people pick up, so I guess, or two. I saw you, how you uh, you switch neighborhoods sometimes when you're just not feeling it. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not getting a bunch to, of, you know, pickups and whatnot, and, and then I'm not, after I've made a few calls, if I'm not getting just the response that I necessarily like, like I said, the the key is to be consistent, right? So if you feel like, you, if you start feeling like, oh, I'm not the Hello? same. Hello? <laughs> If you feel like this ain't working and you know, whatnot, I'll switch it up and just to, you know, keep that momentum. It's about momentum. You get a few good calls in, you know what I mean? And you, then yeah. You it. That's real. Big Mo. You want, you want Big Mo on your side for sure. Yeah. Man, I, I, got, I haven't watched your videos about you with, uh, with your investing stuff, but uh, yeah. I'm happy for you. That's kind of... Hello? Yes. Hey, hey, Mark. This is Devin. I'm a local realtor. Am I catching you at a bad time? Uh, yes. Okay. This will be only. This will be only a few seconds if you can spare it. Uh, what's this about? Yeah, it was just. It was a house that just sold in your neighborhood about a week ago, and I was just calling a few neighbors. You know, just seeing if I could uh, help anybody out. Okay, I'm not selling or nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm not trying to really get you to sell. Uh, I was just reaching out to see if I could help anybody. Uh, if you have any needs in the future, you know, five, ten years from now, do you, do you have a good agent that you will work with? Yeah, I'm okay now. Thank you so much, okay? okay. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Paul, before you keep going, pause, 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 pause. So when, you're, when you start off, your tone is very questionary. Like, so, hey, Mark, you, you, you what you, I, I just wanted to give you a call and I, I want you to come in a little more. Hey, this is Devin. Okay. Yeah, I'm a local realtor over here in Mans and what was his name in the county? Red, Redding. <laughs> Redding. Hey, this, this is Devin. I'm a, I'm a realtor over here in Redding. Just, uh, what am I saying? I'm sorry. Realtor no, here in Redding. Uh, did I catch you at a bad time? Right. Okay. Okay. 
And then most of these people have been kind of, you know, I could tell that they want to just get straight to the point type of folks. But sometimes you have to throw it in there just to slow it down. OK, yeah, you know, just here at home, I'm getting some work done and, you know, just wanted to see, uh, you know, this, something about the weather, whatever, you know, hey, the weather's been kind of crazy. It's beautiful outside. What about you? Right. Yeah. I don't know how you and Ricky do that, man. I'll be like, because you be you trying to speed through it. You you want to yeah. get want to get to the part where you, to the ass you because you feel like they want to get off the phone, right? But yeah, you, you have to just you just have to inflex it in there because it's really 50-50. Sometimes some people do want to just speed off. Like when somebody says what you got, well, yeah, I'm not gonna say that. But if so, I can just feel that they're trying to get off the phone. I'm gonna try it out just to see how they respond, right? Okay. And if you're funny enough and they make them laugh man, it disarms them, right? And then when you get ready to get your spiel in, they're they're a lot more receptive to it, right? So let's try to get try to get that weather thing unless you can tell that they're like, okay, what's what you want? What's the point? Right? Okay. Okay. All right. All right, let's see what I got here. Oh, hey, Kerry. This is Devin. Yeah, this is Devin. Trying to get that, trying to get that part too, like you said. This is Devin. I'm a realtor over here in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to you want to have an upward inflection, just you don't want to go high, high with it, right? You want to, hey, this is Mark. I'm a local realtor over here in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a yeah. bad time? Right? Okay. So up, up. Your straight. name and after the beat. Thank you. It's really like an art, man. It is. It is. It really is. Man, this light will mess up your video, bro. I really feel bad. I can't get rid of that thing. Oh, good, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Wasn't even thinking about it. Yeah. Man, I was watching that first video you had with Ricky. He was like loving the, the highlights and stuff, man. I was like, dude, <laughs> you miss it though? You ever miss it at all? What the uh, football? Mm -hmm. nah, man, I'm, I'm so past that. You know what I mean? I played for a long, long time. Yeah. I hear a lot of underlying yeah. head banging and just, you know, I'm good. Yeah. I had a great run. I played a lot longer than a lot of folks. And, uh, you know, I, st I try to stay in the moment as much as possible. So I had that moment. And, uh, yeah, that's good. That's real good. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Did you play any other sports growing up? You know, I tried to play basketball. I was a great athlete, but I just couldn't get the ball in the hoop. So that just kind of took me away from that. Yeah. You know, played a little baseball, but I got smacked in, the, smacked in the arm one good time. I was like, you know what? And, uh, Hello? Hey, Ronald? Hello? I saw how you handled that sometimes where they listening and you like, I know you hear me. <laughs> something like that. You say something? No? What's up? Hey, you know, like, hey. Yeah, if they're just, because, you know, some people, they get them calls and they just pick up the phone and wait for you to say something. But I used talking, to do that too. Like, yeah, I mean, I've done it myself. So it's like, okay, <laughs> say something? No? You got it? No? Let's, okay, well. Hello. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Hey, Adam, this is Devin. I'm a local realtor in Reading. Am I catching you at a bad time? What's up, Des? Yeah, I'm just home, just, you know, hoping to enjoy this weather. How you doing today? I'm good. Good, good. What do you need? Yeah, I don't want to take too much time. I'm just calling. It was just a house that just sold in your neighborhood just about a week ago. And I was just seeing if I uh, can help anybody else, anybody else out. No, I'm not selling, dude. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell anything. Um, but if you did have any future needs, though, do you have a good realtor that you work with? Uh, my cousin's Kenny Breedlove, so that's who I use. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. All right. Well, you enjoy yep. your day, Adam. Uh, appreciate you. All right. All right. Thanks, dude. Yes, sir. Take it easy. Hey. You see how, but he didn't hang up on you. He let you, you guys had, they had a conversation, right? That's, yeah, you're right. That's when you know you're on the right path because yeah. a lot of people get on this phone and they're like, dude, what you want? Oh, get off. Yeah. The phone. Bye. Bye. Get off the phone. Right. But he was, you know, the conversation was good. Hello? Hey, Julie. 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 H
Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Julie? This is Devin. I'm a local realtor in, in Reading. Am I catching you at a bad time? Yeah, you are. Okay. It only be it only be sixty seconds if you can spare it. Uh, I'm I'm good. I'm not, I don't need the realtor right now. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No worries. I'm just. It was just a house that just sold in your neighborhood. Bang, she banged on me. <laughs> but that good, good. You said you just kept going though. That's, that's yeah, that's great. You know, sometimes okay. Well, hey, don't. Oh, that she so so when she says okay, uh, no, yeah, that's a bad time. Oh, okay, okay. So that that part is the tone of oh wow, okay. I'm my bad. I'm not saying that, but oh okay, okay. It'll only take a quick second if you can spare it. Yeah. So, what you're still kind of fumbling over your words because you're still new new to it, but you got to. Those are the things where you have to sound very definitive. And once you get the script completely down or how you're going to be doing it, it'll be a lot better. Right now, when you start fumbling, then they're like, uh, get off the phone. But I know. That's the telemarketer stuff, man. That's where I'm yeah. like. Hmm. Yeah. Well, like I said, it just takes reps, man. So, oh, OK, OK. It, it'll only take a quick second if you can spare it. Yeah. Man. And you wait. And if, if they're really in a hurry, they'll just hang up and be like, no, you know, but most people are like, OK, go ahead. Well, yeah, just giving you a quick call. House just sold around the corner. Wanted to see if I could help you with anything. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Man, man you, you be killing these things. You'll get there, brother. You'll get there. It just takes... How, how many calls do you think you've done in all since you've started calling? Me? Hello? Hello? Hey, Rhonda. How you doing? Hello? Hey, Rhonda? I'm good. Good. That's good. This is Devin. This is Devin. I'm a local realtor out here in Shasta. Am I catching you a better time? No, but I'm not interested in okay. Okay. selling no. or buying. Yeah, I'm not trying to get you to sell or buy anything. What I was actually doing, it was a house that just sold in your neighborhood just about a week ago. And I was just uh -huh. reaching out to a few yeah, yeah. just to a few neighbors, just seeing if I could do anything for them. Doesn't just have to be buying or selling or anything, right? Um, no, not me. Okay, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> but thanks for the call. Yeah, and good luck. Thank you. If you have any, there's like, someone down the street. There's there's someone a couple of doors down that has their house up for sale by owner. Oh, okay. I'll definitely look into that. So, if you uh, if there you, you go. If you had any future needs in the future, like looking to buy or sell, do you have a good realtor that you work with? I no, I don't know anybody. Okay. So. Okay. Well, uh, Thanks. if that day ever came, I'd love to have the opportunity to work with you. Would it be a crazy idea if I kept in touch? Yes, it would be. I'm not going anywhere. All Thank right. you, though. All right. You take it bye easy. Bye-bye. Hey, good. You got through the entire strip. That's a win. You got through the whole thing. That's a win, baby. You got it. You got it. That's a win, baby. You got through the entire thing. Because that means the more and more you're able to do that, what's, what's, this is like a, it's like stepping stones. First, you got to learn the script and you got to not fumble. When you start getting through the whole script a bunch of times, then you're going to start seeing yourself convert, right? It's just, it's a stepping stone. You got to, you got to go through the process. She was super dope, but I was like, I was swearing that she was going to give me that email. But. Yeah, yeah, I felt it too. I was like, okay, well, yeah, you know. But she's older. She says she's probably not going. You know you deal with those type of folks. Hello? Hello? Hey, Antoinette. Who is this? Yeah, this is Devin. I'm a local realtor out here in Reading. Am I catching you at a bad time? Yes, you are. Okay. It'll only be a second if you can spare it. She banged on me too. Hey, but that was perfect. You did that. You did that that perfectly. I want you to try instead of saying, hey, huh? I want you just to start. I just want you to say their first name. Hey, like Devin? Right? That questionary tone. That's what I want you to try right now. Because when you just did that, the entire first line was great. Devin? Okay, yeah, this is Devin. I'm a local realtor here in Shasta County. Did I catch you at a bad time? It was perfect, flawless. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah, some contacts, though. Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. 
Hello. Robert? Yes. Hey, Robert, this is Devin. I'm a local realtor in Shasta County. Am I catching you at a bad time? Yeah, what about it? Yeah, I'll just make it real quick. It was a house that just sold in your neighborhood just about a week ago, and I was just reaching out to some neighbors, just seeing if I could help anybody out. No, I'm not selling anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to get anybody to buy or sell. I was just seeing if there was anything I could do for them. Uh, I'm sure you no, might... I got three houses and they're not for sale. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the future, if you have any real estate needs. So, good. There was that one point, though, where you like every time they say I'm not selling, you don't have to reiterate that I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell anything. You could, right. could have skipped that part. Say, OK, well, hey, in the future, if anything ever changes for you, do you have an agent that you work with? Yeah, that's way more smooth. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I, I, that was because now you're, that that ends up a lot, ends up being way too many words in that moment. You yeah. Cut that part out and get that down. And then you can kind of. As you get better, you'll start to feel it when you're like, oh, okay, I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell anything. Right? Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, skip that out. Okay, yeah, I got it. All right, cool. Sometimes I just got to think about it. All right. Just go straight into it. You'll you'll learn to be able to put that little, you know, little emphasis in there. That little, that little. Email on this Jeff Webster. Uh, please leave your name and phone. A lot of you. Jenny? Hello? Hey, Jenny, this is Devin. I'm a local realtor. And should I say, am I catching you at a bad time? Yes, you are. And we are not interested in selling. Thank you. Okay, okay. So right there, that's where I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell anything. Okay, right, right. there. And then, and then that I didn't even get through. I didn't even get through telling her why I was calling is why you would have. Yeah, that, huh? exactly. Right. She as soon as she got on the phone, I'm not we're not trying to get we're not trying to sell. OK, cool. I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell anything. And then they'll be like, oh, OK, what do you want? Right. Oh, OK. Well, yeah, just giving you a quick call. House just sold around the corner. Just want to see if I could help you guys out with anything. And you're honestly you're you're sounding kind of like a salesman a little bit because your pitch is too high at the beginning. OK, so, you see how you just said that? You got a deep voice, but then when you get on the line, you'll be like, eh. It's my corporate voice. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, listen, you can still do the same thing with your deep voice. You can still, you see, hey, this is Mark. I'm a realtor over here. You know, it's more, you sound more, you know, not authentic. Professional. Authentic. Yeah. You get to, David, we are not you get that high It's David. like, I'm not sure if I should be calling David. you. I don't David. know. David. You know. You got to. That's the part you got to get. So really, just keep your voice low, but still have an inflection. Hey, this is okay. Devin. I'm a realtor over here. You see, you can still hear that inflection, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want people. So, so I'm not taking this call right now. I'd be happy to return your call. Yeah, I'd be overthinking it probably. You just still, you still fresh. Got them jitters, brother. Yo, man, do I got him, bro. It's crazy. That's a part of it, man. Just fighting through that. Hello, Anthony. Hello. Hey, Anthony. Yes. This is Devin. I'm a local realtor out here in Shasta. Am I catching you at a bad time? You're a what now? I'm a local real estate agent out here. I'm, I'm just, am I catching you at a bad okay. time? No, go ahead. What's up? Yeah. Uh, well, it's just a house that just sold in your neighborhood just about a week ago. And I was just reaching out to a few neighbors, just seeing if there was anything I could do for them. Uh, no, we just bought three years ago. So oh, we're nice. Not, we're not going anywhere. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, if you did have any future needs, you have a good realtor that you're working with? Uh, yeah, I do. A close friend of ours. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, man. You take it easy. All right. All right. Thanks, buddy. 
I could have easily did the backup thing, but I fumbled it. Yeah, and, you, and you look, it came, what came through is that you were disappointed that he didn't give you that. When yeah. He, he was like, oh, okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You, yeah, look, I'm going to tell you like this. It just comes from making calls. You're going to let, you're gonna have to let that uh, – you you kind of have an addiction to the outcome right now, and I'm gonna tell you that's the that'll probably be the only thing that'll slow you down the most is that addiction that you have to the outcome. So if you don't get a good outcome, if you ain't getting these emails, you start feeling it like, man, am I doing this right? Am I am I working? Um, that addiction to the outcome, man, you got to let that go. You know what I'm saying? You just need to be making your calls, be making your calls, and making sure that you're doing. You know, your outcome needs to be dependent on you doing what you're supposed to be doing on a daily basis. And then when you get to going with that, that's you'll start noticing yourself get better and you won't even really have to think about it. Right. But right. that'll be the only thing that will kind of slow you up because it'll keep you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. When you're yeah. Feeling a certain type of way about oh, I feel like I could have done better. I didn't get no emails today. I made all these calls. Like I said, you got to go through the process, brother. All right, I, I, I take your word for it. That's literally how it be. I'm like, I'm like, man, I could have did that. I could have did that, but you're right. You're right. Let, let that go, man. You have to. You have to just give yourself permission to not be that great right now. Yeah, but you need to tie your success to: Am I getting in here every day and making these calls? You're right. That's good. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Did you? Um, maybe you being an athlete, you might have had some of that too in the beginning, huh? Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's just a part of it, right? As a matter of fact, my entire when I first started playing ball, it was like that. You know, Leela. Hi, this is Lee. Leave me a message. Thanks. Well, I came out of high school. I didn't get any type of you know recruiting, nothing like nothing like that. All of my friends did, though. I ended up having to go to JUCO. And I knew I had the talent and got down to Juco, you know, did really well in practice, you know, was starting, but they just would not give me the ball. Right? It was just what wasn't happening. And I mean, I was clearly, I was clearly really good, but it just wasn't happening. And so then I got a chance to go to my next school where they saw my talent. So it's about being in the right place. You forwarded to an automated voice messaging time. system. You know what I'm saying? But I had put in a lot of work up until that point. You know what I'm saying? But then mm -hmm. when they started giving me the ball, I just exploded, right? And that's kind of how this this goes as well. Uh, I, yeah, man. I appreciate it. If, if nothing else, that probably... No doubt. Probably, well, let's do this, man. Hey, Karen? Hello? Yeah. Hey, Karen, this is Devin. I'm a local realtor out here in Shasta. Am I, giving you, am I calling you at a bad time? You're what? I'm a local real estate agent in Shasta County. I was wondering if I was catching you at a bad time right now. I, I don't need a real estate agent. Okay. I was just giving a few calls to a few neighbors. It was a house that just sold in the neighborhood uh, about a week ago. And I was just seeing if I could help anybody out with anything. No, not at all. Okay. I just got a new phone. Thank you. Yeah. Well, in the future, if you have any needs or anything like that, do you have a good realtor that you usually work with? Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, I do. All right. Well, people go on vacation. A lot of people return at this moment. Uh, would it be a crazy idea if I kept in touch? You could keep me as a backup or something? No, it would be crazy. I just sold a home and I just bought a new home. All right. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations right. on that. You take it easy. Good. Good. Go ahead and pause yours. I'm going to go ahead and hop on mine and do some calls and let you kind of hear me live. Um, let me load this up real quick. But, yeah, that was good, man. Like I said, you you rolling through it. It's just it's not really going to – your your ability to emails will go up as you – especially once you get the script down and know what you need to say. That's going to be number one. So that's what I will work on. Really, like I said, if you can record the calls, it'd be the best thing because then you can practice what you would say back via the script, right? Or you can listen to it the way I do it and just kind of practice that. Because once you have that down, then you can start tweaking your tone, right? Yeah. All right. Let me get this loaded up real quick. 
My leads, Fox Hollow. No, we don't manually endpoint that. Custom data. Open leads. Open that up. Import those. Let me switch this phone number. What are you using for your phone number? Man, I saw you did something like that. Uh, I've been just using my. So I have a I have an iPhone, but then I downloaded Google Voice because so, I still have my Baltimore number. So yeah, I also so I got my California number out here from Google Voice. So the thing with Google Voice is you're only gonna be able to get like one, and you got to pay like ten bucks to change it. So after you, if you're using a dialer, eventually you're gonna get marked to spam on that one as well, right? And then right. now you, now you coming up as you coming up as a spam call, and then you sound kind of not sure of yourself. <laughs> so. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it's go. It's gonna bring your. You know, it, it's just not helping, right? Now, I come up with spam sometimes. Sometimes the numbers I change to have been used before in their spam, but I've gotten good at the phone to where you know I don't sound like a spammer. You know, I, I, I don't. I, suck at shots. I showed up as spam. Really? That's crazy. But anyway, if you ever need help, and you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying. So that yeah. definitely help you out as well. Yeah, because you do the. Uh... You do that text now thing? Yeah, text now. Mm -hmm. I only need to change it just to make calls. I don't. Yeah, but, but I you, gotta pay, you gotta pay for text now, right? Yeah, it's a it's a small. This is not a lot. I change mine every day though. Every day I'm calling. I'm calling a new number. Type of situation. Yeah, that's legit. All right, let me change this. Let's see here. Let me update this phone number right there. Add a number. Seven six four zero seven. Text me. Wave one one nine zero eight. Confirm that. Call me. Press one to continue. Can you hear that? Yep. All right, now let's triple line that thing up. Let's see what we got going. Hey, Lakeisha. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, this number is linked to this property on Bradley Drive. Does that ring a bell at all? No. no. Okay. Okay. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I just, I'm a local realtor. I just sold the house right next door and this number is tied to that property. I got you. Okay. 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 Well, let me ask you this real quick before I let you go. She, I don't know. The next? she was ready to get out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was ready. She don't know why I'm calling. I tried to pique her interest a little bit, but she was not really, uh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Wynn. Yes. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in DeSoto. Did I catch you at a bad time? Yes. No, sorry, you did not. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just, you know, here at home getting some work done. I'm trying to figure out whether I what, need to wear a t-shirt or an overcoat. What about you? I know. I know. Same thing. It's hard to tell. Got you. I got you. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I didn't want to take a bunch of your time there. I, uh, I actually just sold a house there in the neighborhood and, you know, just wanted to see if I could help you guys out with anything at all. Yeah, um, you know, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I would love to downgrade, downsize, mm -hmm. whatever. Not really downgrade, but really downsize. Um, yeah. Just because our, our kiddos are, are both going to be empty nesters soon. Oh, wow. Really How old are you? With a pool and all of the things. Oh, you know, wow. Okay. Uh, it's just, I would love to downsize, but I think that we, my husband and I, we've been talking about it a lot. I've been talking about it a lot because to me, I just feel like, why are we still in this house? Like, why yeah. are we still need all this space? Yeah. And to be fair, we've been here since, what, 2008? Mm -hmm. And we have not really... In my team, we never utilized the house like we really? did. Oh, like, like used all this? Rooms, yeah, yeah. Media rooms. We didn't use any of this space, you know. And yeah. So, um, 
yes, thanks. Uh, I just, I, I don't really know um, if my husband is really there yet. Yeah. Um, you know, we will be empty nesters after this this year. Our daughter is going off to college. Our son's already there. So okay. Yeah. Yep. It's, I would love to definitely, you know. Do it, but I'm telling you now. I think my husband. <laughs> He's here. like, I'm not yeah, trying to go nowhere. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, where are we going to live? Yeah, um, it's not going to cost us an arm and a leg, you know. Because yeah, we have tons of equity in this house. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, when I say tons, I mean tons. Right. And I'm just like, why are we not just pleading? Yeah. How much do you? How much do you guys? <laughs> how much do you guys think you owe on there then? Oh, probably about 280 280 Okay. I got you. I got you. Well, I mean, it makes sense. The market is kind of crazy. What I will say right now, though, is, you know, we're, we're kind of starting to reach the top of this thing. I'm going to be honest with you. We've been, we've been going up for, you know, since about 2016 around here. So we're kind of almost there. And I think what's going to happen as they keep raising these interest rates is going to slow things down a bit. Um, and I think there'll be a lot more stuff for people to choose from, you know, the builders are, they're actively building, especially down there. So you could most definitely, you know, end up selling and probably get yourself into a newer home. If that's something that you're looking for in the next year or two. Um, but I don't think we can't, we can't continue just going straight up like we've been. Uh, so I think we're going to reach the top here, you know, fairly, fairly within the next year or two, honestly, to be just completely candid. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think too myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do have a, I have a, a couple of family members who are actually real estate uh, agents, and oh really? They, you know, we didn't use them when we when we bought the house. Mm -hmm. Um, we always like keep family separate. To be fair, you know what? Have to that's worry about. yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you if you have a couple of them for sure, right? Yeah. Yes, I have two people in my family who. And they do very well, you know. I know yeah. they're good guys and all that, but I just uh, it's like, who do you choose? Which cousin do you choose? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who who, who gets mad at um, you, you know, if you don't choose them, right? Who, yeah, who gets the bell? Yeah. Who yeah, yeah. All that, and I, I don't want to. I don't even. When we purchased this house, matter of fact, um, both of our cousins were so trying to get us to go with them, and we ended up going with someone totally different. That makes and sense. And it was the best decision for us, you yeah. know, just to keep it. Yeah. Because you want to keep your family, sure, keep every, yeah. keep everything strong for sure. Okay, I definitely do. I don't want to use use them, but I, I will say that um, you know me. Yes, I would love to 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 move forward, but I think yeah. in the light of things, it's like where are we going to live? Because to be fair, I don't want to live on this side of town anymore. Not, oh, I just don't. There's just nothing here. Yeah. Um, everything we want to do is somewhere else. Like, you what know? are you thinking? Like North Dallas, or? Yeah, I'm just thinking uh, somewhere central, somewhere else. I mean, yeah. I don't even know if I really want to move like to the Mansfield Arlington area. I don't think I want to live there either. But there's just so much more in other places. Okay. Um, yeah, for sure. In Dallas, definitely. You know, up North Dallas would be nice. Mm -hmm. Um. I hate to say that because it makes me feel so bad. I mean, we moved from Louisville when we first moved here. Okay. To be, you know, really to expose our kids so they know who they were. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Like y'all living up here, not knowing who you are, where you come from, things like that. But now that they're leaving, it's like when my husband and I want to go out and hey. out, it's we got to drive all the way up north to do Yeah. It. So it's, hey, look, mommy and daddy got to have a like too, Jody. <laughs> it's, um, it's, I'm so done. I'm so done. For sure. Um, for yeah, sure. Um, you say your name is Mark Branson? Mark Branson. Yes, like Branson, Missouri. What I'll do, um, hey, I, you know, I'd love to help you guys whenever you make that decision. You know, would it be a, a crazy idea if we stayed in touch and, you know, maybe I can help you out in the future? No, that would be fine. No, that would be perfect. Um, you know, it is something that I have, it's been on my way up for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I think my husband is kind of coming around. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to be one of those, like, yeah, what, how can we move forward? How can we move on out? For sure. And so, yeah, and, and I know that a lot of folks have been telling us that this is a perfect time. Yeah, that, I see that. You know, the property and that. We yeah, that's the thing. You know, put some paint in here and mm -hmm. stuff like that and some new carpet. And so, like, this is 
Yeah, yeah. So what I say, you have a little, you know, it's not, it's not just gonna, you know, stop overnight. But like I said, if you're looking at making a move, you don't want to be on the other side of once we hit the peak and we start coming back down a little bit. You don't want to be on that side yeah, and then didn't want to sell, right? And so a uh, conservative yeah. me, like me, I have a rental property in downtown Dallas. I bought it 2019. It's went up two hundred thousand. I want. I'm. I have it on the market. I already got it sold. Basically, you know what I mean. I'm taking my oh, money my, and I'm moving my. to somewhere else. So I, I'm just. I like yeah. to take advantage of it. You know what I mean. And then lock in a low. Keep keep a low interest rate because right. There's another side to the coin, right? So yeah, you may have to you know buy a little bit higher, but the interest rates are so low right now that you can actually afford more house, right? So if you do yeah, wait, yeah. and even if the prices come back down and your interest rate is say six, seven percent, well, it's actually more costly yeah. for you on a monthly basis, right? And so the, yeah. they're gonna hike it, they're gonna hike the interest rate three times this year. The Fed already said that. So again, just something else for you to think about. Yeah, definitely gonna definitely um with a mind, you know, keeping in touch to try to see well, which neighbor's house um, did you sell? Yeah, I sold one there over off of Canopy Lane. Uh, it was a four bed, two bath, and we ended up selling for about four fifty. You said Canopy Lane? Mm hmm I think it's not it's not right there in your uh, like direct neighborhood. It's kind of down like a few okay. blocks down, but yeah. That's still For sure. great. I mean, that's, that's, that's still great. Yeah. I mean, like, I know that a couple of our neighbors have their houses on the market at one point here. Mm -hmm. And one man had his almost listed at $700,000. It was about six sixty nine. dollars And so I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> and actually, I think it was under contract. And I don't know if they just decided to move forward. It was something different or yeah. whatever. But I think they took it off the market. Um, what's kind of a special deal? I think their parents live in the same community. Oh, okay, yeah, that might have, yeah, that might affect it, right? You know, maybe we need to just stay, yeah, yeah. But either way, it was up there, and we were like, dang, you know, yeah. we're going to have to move to another area. Mm -hmm. But we were like, well, what can we do? And we were like, well, we could just move to another area. Yeah, we were like, well, we could just move to another area. Yeah, we were like, well, we could just move to another area. Yeah, we were like, well, we could just move to another area. Yeah, we were like, well, we could just move I believe it, hundred percent. And that is so crazy. Yeah. And I was like, wait, hey, we need the money. <laughs> you see, you <laughs> see them dollar signs. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, look, mean, this is what I'll do. If you have a, a good email, I'll send you my info, and then you know. Okay. You, go ahead. What's a, what's a good email for you? Okay, it's going to be Terry T E R I dot R dot W Y N N at Gmail. At gmail.com. And then what I'll go ahead and do for you, I'll just run some comps, run up, you know, give you a, co a comparable market analysis so you can just see, you know, what the other properties are selling for you. I, you know, I'll put some pictures in there so you can see what they look like in comparison to your home and, you know, send that over to you. And then, you know, I'll just follow up with you periodically, check in on you guys. And, you know, I'd love to help you. You know, I sell a lot of houses in, okay. you know, DeSoto, Lancaster area. So if you guys wanted somebody professional to get the job done, I'm 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 the good man for the job for sure. All right. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate you for reaching out and we'll be in touch. Absolutely. All right. You have a blessed one. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah, that was about to get long-winded. So you're not gonna sell a house on the first go round, right? So we had a good conversation and whatnot, but I know I'm not going to, I'm not going to sell it right now. Right. So I, I want to get to some more calls, but you hear how that conversation went and it, that was like the third call. Right. But again, yeah. you felt real comfortable talking with me because it was just straight. There's no fumbling. There's no, none of that. Right. And that, yeah. no, that doesn't just happen on the normal, you know, it's not, it's usually no, but then you get these. And right now, because of the way the market is, I think people are starting to, you know, in their mind, like Ricky says, they starting to feel that top of the market coming. So they're going to, be ready to start doing some something, doing some things. So, yeah, buddy, that's going to be a deal, bro. That's going to be a deal. So I'm sending her that. Let me put her information. It's crazy. I don't know if I was, I was like, man, he just referenced baby boy. I don't know. It just came yeah, slow. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm going to be honest with you. I understand because I, I am calling the black neighborhood right now. So I, I kind of, you know, just like you do, you have your corporate voice because I've been in corporate America, but I can also do that because I know where I'm calling. Okay, I can add a little more flavor to this one because that's going to help build that rapport. 
they're going to feel more comfortable, right? As opposed to me sounding all corporate with them if I'm calling a different type of neighborhood. But again, yeah. that's a part of the nuances, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, my bad on that. I totally slipped my mind. I was just like, this dude crazy. Uh, I was all <laughs> I don't know if she really was paying attention to her, but I was like, this guy going off right now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to send her a picture of my business card. So my business card and everything kind of solidifies. You know, you put a face with a voice, put my yeah. logo on there. She can see I'm a professional. You know, I'm, I'm about my business. And then, you know, I'll follow up with her and just see where it leads. Yeah, that was good. But I mean, when I tell you I have so many people like that in my database, and honestly, I, I really feel like I would be done, done a lot more deals, right? Like, mm. I, have, yeah. I have a couple listings coming and that sort of thing. I have people that are, you know, kind of there, but I think the market is, you know, it's just what it is, right? But yeah. when I tell you, I have a lot of people like that in my database. It's crazy. And I know that at one point, at some point, it's going to turn around. It's just going to be like an avalanche. And then I'm yeah. Like, What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's always, it always makes me think of how Ricky said that's worth 10 to 20 deals, you know, just that relationship. And so even one email, you know, so. Yeah. No, that's good, man. You, you killed that. Hey, Ms. Johnson. Yeah. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in DeSoto. Did I catch you at a bad time? Oh, it's working. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, you know, here doing the same thing. I'm really trying to figure out if I, you know, need to wear a t-shirt or an overcoat these days. What about you? Uh-huh. <laughs> same thing. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Well, yeah, I didn't want to, you know, take a bunch of your time there. I, uh, I actually just sold a house there in the neighborhood and, you know, just wanted to see if I could help you guys out with anything at all. Oh, no, we're good right now, actually. You're all good? Okay, I got you for sure. No worries okay. at all. Okay. okay. Well, hey, if anything, you know, ever changes for you, maybe say five, maybe 10 years from now, do you have a good agent that you work with? Uh, no, not at the time. I'm curious, um, how much is this house to do to sell? How much is the for? Okay. Yeah, it was a four bed, two bath, and we ended up selling at 450000 So pretty mm -hmm. good, pretty good little sale price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much did it, how much did it, did it, was it before? Like this? As far as what? It, I mean, it, how much did it include? Oh, okay, okay. I think, honestly, I want to say they bought that house probably 10, 15 years ago. I think they, you know, bought it around something in the 200000 range, somewhere around there. Oh, wow. So, yeah, they got a pretty wow. pretty nice return on the investment. That is a good return. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. for sure. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Well, hey, if anything, you know, ever changes for you, maybe, you know, five, ten years from now, do you have a good agent that you work with? Not at the time, no, actually, because we've been in the house for 15 years. So. Oh, okay, you've been there for a while, too. Okay. Well, hey. Yeah, we, we got there at the best beginning of the um, development. Oh, you guys were one of the first ones in. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Well, hey, you know, I would love to work with you guys if it ever comes up. You know, would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? And, you know, maybe I'll help you out down the line. What's your name again, Mark? What? Uh, Mark Branson, like Branson, Missouri. Well, who are you with? I'm with TD Realty over, at, over here out of Mansfield. Say again? Uh, TD Realty. TD. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. This is your cell number that you called me on? This is actually my office number. What I can do, if you have a, you know, a good email, I'll send you all my info. And then, you know, you just have it on file if you ever need it. Okay. You, okay, like, you want to email with Yeah, go ahead. Um. A. Got that AOL. That's that original email right there. <laughs> <laughs> so A. AOL.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Okay.
Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. In the state of Texas, whenever you purchase a property, your phone numbers get tied to it. So, you know, as an agent, I just have access to that. Whenever I sell a house, you know, I just call some neighbors, see if I can help out. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll keep you in mind. You never know what, 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 what if things change. Yeah. So For sure. Okay. Well, what I can do if you if you open to it, you know, I can, you know, run some comps and whatnot so you guys can at least just see the numbers, you know, get a little info about the area, what things are selling for in comparison to your house and just send it to your email. Would that work? Uh, I probably, I probably hurt anything. OK, yeah, I'll shoot it over to you. And like I said, you guys ever need anything at all, you know, just give me a shout. OK, thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. You do. And that's what you want to have. You see how she at the end of the call, she's like, okay, well, cool. Thank you very much. They like happy I college. Mm-hmm. Like that's those are that when you get to that level, that's when you know that you've kind of got things down. Yeah. I got that's two CMAs and like how do you know how many calls we did? Ten I calls. Mean, yeah, you're killing it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm seven, think about this. I'm 70,000 calls in, bro. Yeah, that's true. 70,000. I've only been in the <laughs> only been a real estate agent for a year and a half and i'm seventy thousand in so you was dialing for like five six hours a day so huh? in the dungeon in the dungeon i'm not not playing about that i'm in the dungeon man man yeah i just gotta get through it get through it all it is it's the name of the game but it's light on the other side that's real all right, we'll do one more and then we'll kind of wrap everything up. All right. Again, like I said, I appreciate you, man. No doubt, man. No doubt. Okay, let's see here. We'll put that address in there. Send them a CMA. Okay, we just need to send them a CMA. You know, we'll just highlight that and put them in red. It's nice out there in Texas, huh? Yeah, man, it's a little rainy today, but you do you hear that? Do you hear that that breakup that I used to? Oh man, still trying to figure out this weather. Need to figure out what I need to wear a shirt. Yeah. Or, and I, I only say that because we are our, our weather's bipolar right now. It's like up and down. So that's something everybody can relate to and everybody laughs at that and it breaks up everything. And then it's easy to get into a conversation. It's real easy. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. I've been scared to use them. The, those, are uh, those are breakup things. I'm like, man, I don't know how that's going to flow, but you're right. You see how effective that thing is when you do do it though. Like, yeah. That thing you're is right. Effective. You're right. You're right. But again, it's more about you. Once you get to the point to where you got your script down and you can get your, everything else going it'll make that way easier you know what i'm saying yeah one thing i tried to do but it obviously didn't work was like record myself in my voice memo but to try to get the script down but you just record the calls pretty much i just record the calls yeah why is this one not going in Hi, you have reached Patrice. I am unavailable at the moment to take your call. If you would please. you have dialed. 
The person you have dialed. No, I cannot take your call. Like nobody picking up. Hey, Mark. Yes, sir. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in DeSoto. Did I catch you at a bad time? Hey, Mark. No, you're fine. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just you know here at home getting some work done, and I'm trying to figure out whether I need to wear a t-shirt or an overcoat these days, man. What about you? Yeah, no, same way. Same, same way. way. I got you, man. I got you. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't want to take a bunch of your time. I uh, I actually just sold a house there in the neighborhood and, you know, just wanted to see if I could help you out with anything at all. Uh, no, I'm good. I appreciate the call, but... Okay. No worries. No worries. Well, hey, if anything ever changes for you, do you have a good realtor that you work with? Yeah, I do. I you do? It. Okay. Well, no worries, man. I appreciate you being gracious with your time and you have a blessed one, okay? Yeah. Can't win them all. Yeah, that's true. But he, he, I, I got through my entire script though, and he didn't want to be on the phone at all. Yeah, that's what. So that opening, that opening line, made him laugh a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm not looking for nothing. Okay, he's, he's a cool dude, so I'll, I'll hear him out. But not, I'm not doing nothing. I don't want nothing. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Ready. You know, but that's the tone. And see, the thing about it is, once you start making all these calls. I know that within about five seconds. I mean, I could kind of tell he really wasn't, he really wasn't, you know, going to give me anything. I asked him, he had a realtor. He was like, yeah, that was a definitive. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, he really does have a realtor. <laughs> Some people would be like, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah. what's, the name? what's the name? I might know him. You know what I mean? And they'll be like, uh, yeah. okay, well, hey, I've been in this business a long time. I've kind of seen, you know, agents come and go. Would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? But again, I'm doing so much up here when I'm on the phone as far as listening to their tone. And that's the level that you have to just build to, right? 